Hello everybody and welcome to another round of Classic Fixed on the main, or sorry not the main, this is, a, this is the alternate JJ Bro account on Orville Treyor. We are playing regular Classic Fixed, normal settings of course, uh, with 60 second turn timers, but this is beginner to Grandmaster because we're trying to, you know, have a little bit less inter, uh, novices in here because they like to suicide so often. I know some other higher players would do it too in some certain stances, but yep, we are here. All right, we are round one. We got a lot of troops surrounding North America and in North America. That's huge. We are going last though. Um, okay. Orange in the first position. M oh, I left the alliances on. That is a mistake. Well, you have alliances on in a game. I never put a I never put alliances on in a ranked. So this could be interesting. Um, let's not ask for anything until we have figured out our spot. Purple has a giant seven stack. White has a big six stack. Orange with a big five stack as well. Okay. We are green. Oh boy. I want the North American position. So. It's definitely going for the Australian position. White, what are you doing? <sighs> Interesting to see. Connecting his troops. Hmm. Purple adds everything to the seven. He definitely wants North America. That's not good. Um, how am I going to do this? South America, maybe? South America might be my only play. I don't have any free cards. Wow, that's a first, I feel. Zero free cards to start this game. But I think that South America is our best play. We have to hit a two. Yikes. Um, as much as I wanna just like get these out, there's so much to fortify, so. I think it's important, important to keep my bonus position more strong. Probably could have attacked with my six first to keep this stronger, but I want to get into the bonus first before I can say this is what I want, where I want to be. So now that I'm in the bonus, I can attack from other positions. I want to probably hit China to fortify my twos together to keep that second position because really I'm just in two positions right now. <sighs> it's fairly obvious, I think, that I want South America to everyone else. It must be, it looks fairly obvious to me. All right. Hopefully he doesn't have two. I won. Great. Should be able to get another turn to fortify. Add everything to my seven. Attack with my six in the middle. Fortify my two to my seven. If I can get a tip attack out of it. And it looks like I might. Might get an attack out of it. 
Everyone seems really good about only hitting one territory a turn. We don't see anyone crazy in this game so far. But yeah, so we got Himriz, Anuri, General Ha, Jacob, General Fujimori, and you got me. Okay, let's. We're probably gonna get an alliance with Purple because he's gonna be in North America, and we're gonna be, or and we're gonna be in South, which I don't like, but. You gotta do what you gotta do. And splitting troops is going to be very difficult if this goes to the end game. White's gonna fight orange for Europe, I think. Yeah. And blue might take Africa. White has to figure out what how he's gonna do it. He's gonna do the 2v1. That is amazing. I would never do a 2v1 for a card unless I absolutely had no other choice. But in this situation, you shouldn't be doing that. So, here we go. Place it all there, get an attack with my six. 100% chance on this, because I want to connect these. And I'm going to fortify this guy first, because it's in the way. Yep. Red's probably going to see this as a threat. I wouldn't be surprised if Red saw it as a threat. But I'm going for South America, that is for sure. I'm not adding to those troops until I get South America. Fully. Stops. Okay, good. So we're going to get an extra fortify out of the twos. We get we get a free attack out of the seven, hopefully. Okay, blue. Definitely gonna. I think blue definitely takes Africa. White is gonna be the lone soldier, not getting anything. White's also in three positions, like they're playing progressive. I only got that one position now. Hmm. White definitely looks looks like they're going to be fighting orange for that bonus. Orange is first in the turn order though, so they could get the set on three before white and basically dominate that. Purple going for that. Alright. Add all to here. Get an attack of a one. Move this guy. Because I feel more threatened with that too than anything else. I want to keep those extra troops on my stack. Trying to make sure I get those free cards because I'm not getting free cards. First two turns. I lost two troops on the first turn. Backing a two. Luckily enough, I got one free one. Orange trying to get a free card. He's got one more on the bottom South South America, but doesn't do that one. Is he going for South now? I really hope not. Do we have a set here? We need that set. It would be very good to have that right now. Please don't hit my two. Ah, darn it. I got one two out of it, so that's good.
Hmm. This is a rough spot. Well, I guess I can hit India first, but I shouldn't do that. I don't want to go into Europe at the moment, but I think blue is going to dominate. Yep. He's definitely, his claim on Africa is so strong now. Man, I really hope that Orange is not staking his claim into South America right now. The way he is aimed, I am genuinely afraid that is the case. Okay, we can hit Middle East now instead of Europe. But purple... Adding troops in the center of the map. Huh. What is going on in Europe, man? You want to be able to fortify that too for a turn? Hopefully this seems non-threatening. I think it's fairly obvious that I want South America. We have a set now. Yes, but it, and we do get the plus two, so it would be worth the set in. And that means we can hit territories in, in Asia this turn. There are twos. Well, we could probably just hit India and deal with it this turn. Orange also set in. Yeah, they're definitely staking their claim in in uh, Europe for sure they're just gonna wait for people to leave because they're not gonna hit two ten stacks to keep Europe right now I'm surprised purple put so many troops in Europe just to keep that too that genuinely surprised me hmm Red really getting his strong claim. I think it's time for me to take. Since I'm setting it, maybe it's my time for me to take uh, South America. I kind of want to get out of the way and stay over in the top right, but all those were twos at the at the time, and that was very threatening to me. Huh. Red is blocked at the moment. I'm, I'm a bit confused about purple. He's kind of on the weaker side. Is blue botting? This could be bad. Oh, he's still in the game. Just didn't take a card. That's really bad for him. White's definitely going to combine his stacks. Purple's going to move into North America this turn. He's attacked twice for that. Okay. Purple's taking his time to take North America. My turn. I definitely set in with the plus two. Absolutely fabulous. We're going to make this a 10 and the rest go here. I'm definitely going to take the bonus now. Okay. 
and we're gonna take it now boop and we're gonna fortify this 10 back I don't want to put it somewhere else hopefully white can move that stack somewhere I'm not sure I don't want it to be on Middle East because I feel like I'm threatening more of the blue than I am of white right now. Some pretty decent dice though for my turn, for my uh, start to this game, 12 to 8. Oh, Orange is attacking quickly. Take his bonus now. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Red's adding to there. Is he gonna break orange? I think I think red's gonna break orange. Oh boy. Yep, there it is. Moved your three in? Nope, move it out. Okay. Give orange the chance to trade in and smack the rest of your troops over there. Cool. Let's give blue an alliance. We gave blue an alliance. I don't like alliances for this reason because other people could be friends with each other. Like purple and orange could be long term friends and that's not really good. Let's hope white is not going to hit our tent. He goes and hits the blue too. Come on. Yes, good. Stay there. Fortify your two. A fortify your two to you. Who cares? Good. So we can attack the one, go back to Afghanistan, be in a centralized um, position. I kind of want my position to be in your tooks or, or uh, Yakatuks or Yurkatuks or Urkatuks. So purple slowly trying to take that. All right, you want to make these even. Take that. I gave blue an alliance. Evie takes it. I'm gonna move this back. Okay, purple. Or orange just takes it back, doesn't really put anything next to it. Gonna fortify a little bit over. All right. Cool, good to know. Do I have a set? I do not have a set. All right. All right. Oh, I can trade with blue, I guess. That works with me. Or I could trade with white. Oh, he stays right there. All right, that's that's kind of threatening to me that he did not move. He just moved his stack right in front of me. All right. Um, in this position, I'm going to be adding all my troops to this and 
attacking this way. One more. To move my stack. And I lose two troops extra that turn. Basically, my turn of three was for nothing. Orange takes his card. Orange attacked fairly quickly, so we know that they're going to be playing a very good game. I have not really threatened anyone at all. I'm, I think this is, yeah, very good. I think blue feels fine with me. Red. Let's give them the alliance. Why not? important to understand that purple still does not have North America so we need to pay attention to that because we could steal it from them at some point with us getting more troops than they are at the moment or producing more and that could prove to us stealing it or even white stealing it white has more troops than purple at the moment and why does white what is white doing they're not fortifying back they keep going and staying where they attack. You're gonna block blue. That would be something right there if he did. Purple now gonna take his bonus. Oh, he's, he's aiming at them to attack or something. Because they're not doing anything. We have a big set. Whenever you have a big set and fix, you always use it. Gonna match blue. Never go over the person that has bigger bonuses. And we have a giant amount of troops over there. 32 on the left side, 21 on the right side. All right. Orange moving his troops into North America now. Okay, red with his five cards. Calvary from me. I have given red and blue an alliance. None have accepted yet. always want to try to match blue but if he keeps adding troops right next to me oh. don't want to add more than two if I'm going to add to it add one to it I can add one that's fine I'm down for a one add Don't want to open my six. All right. I have given blue an alliance, and he he has not accepted. White, a bit scary right now. Stays right in front. Holy crap. Tensions are rising with that stack. If white trades in on three with a 10 set, he will be ginormous or someone without a bonus in this game. 
Oh my goodness. I don't want to show blue that we're good. I don't want to fortify this in the center to like give them extra spots. I don't want to be, you know, top, don't want to be at the bottom. Center is like the best spot. Hmm. Very stalemate right now. Red adds to that position. Oh my goodness. That is quite amazing. Do we have a set? We do not. But your tux is our plus two. We might actually, oh my goodness. Well, I tried to give blue an alliance. Hopefully he doesn't hit me after that. Does he card skip? Oh, frick. White says risky move. Holy crap. White and, oh, frick. Oh, thank God. Okay, I didn't get hit. I'm surprised he didn't hit Southern Europe. He only hit Western Europe. That is limiting Orange's position to go and attack. White does not like to fortify. Oh my gosh. White is not the fortified type. Are we about to see a suicide? This would be interesting. It's rid of red. We're going to match purple. All right. And now that we're in this position, I think I want to go to the Peru position now. Because then it, 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 honestly, yes, I won't be holding it if someone just comes in to want to break each other. But this gives the option of other people hitting the, each other a lot more. I don't think orange hits blue. That would be unreasonable. They would lose so many troops. It makes no sense for orange to hit blue. He leaves his stack out. Oh man. Red trades in. Gonna bring all of his troops together now so that white doesn't take his bonus and just slaps him. But if white sets in here, he definitely could. It'll be more than red, which is surprising because he white's never had a bonus. <clears throat> no set for white. Okay. 
I don't have a set. I'm going to attack a territory and move back to Yakutuks. We're gonna hit red because red's kind of like locked in their spot. What the heck? Are they killing blue? What? That made no They're slider blitzing, but what? That was not a reasonable kill. Now white gets that bonus because there's no way I'm holding it. Oh my god. What a play. That didn't make sense. Watch red take out Africa now or something. No, he's not smart enough to do that. But he opened up white to go take Africa. And I bet white will. White sets him with a four trade. Oh my god, that's funny. Wait, what? Oh, frick. Please don't. He doesn't go for Africa. Oh, gosh. Thank God. I'm a bit confused. Right. I'm debating on whether or not I take this. Don't get to it in time? Okay. It's fine. I'm trying to look a little bit lazy. That's It's good to look a little bit lazy. Okay. I am people have access to break me. I don't think they will. I'm trying to get my 27 over to my stack over on the left side. What how does white do this? Do they just smack my stack or do they smack purple? Okay. Moving over. I don't like that. See, this is where I didn't want to be. Tensions are rising. I need a set here. Do I have it? I do.
I think I would have left my 23 up there because he's probably going to hit one of these stacks. Just to get a bonus. And I think that's the problem I've just messed up for. I should have left that stack up there and fortified this to my 30. So that he doesn't just smack one of them. Because he's definitely thinking about it. This put it be a 50 stack. I'm going to put it right there. He'll go into orange. He, hitting me doesn't make sense. I'm also the strongest on the board. Not right now, dude. White's the concern. It's five player game right now. What in the world, bro? Please don't. Like he's trying to block his stack or something. I'm going to pretend I don't know what I'm doing. Why does he keep saying that? We're going to do this. Now, I don't like that purple has the opportunity to just steal my bonus. But if they do it, other people will go against them on it. So it won't just be me seeing that. And now orange is strength is bigger than white now after all that. Their attack on blue was ridiculous. I have to say. Uh. <laughs> Leaving threes on the outside. That's kind of annoying. Seventy eight troops. It's orange. It's me loses eight. He doesn't like me. Then breaks orange. He's gonna wait, what's he doing now? Is he breaking purple? No. Okay, I think he's going to break me. Yep, he does. He's going to hit every single territory, it looks like. So this cons this turn's going to consist of me going to my North America, 
a North Africa position so that he can't go into South America. Purple's going to add more to that to make it more look more like you can't take it from him, even though it definitely can. We need Orange to move to Ukraine, and they didn't do that that turn. I don't think they saw it. And Purple doesn't trust me or Orange at all, even with alliances on. Hmm. White's only aimed at me right here. Want to point that out. So if they wanted to suicide, they could just do it into me. My plays have been really simple though this turn. Nothing outrageous. It looks like orange is kind of blocking white here or red oh my god whoa huh it's white Okay. I think purple hits Japan first. White's gonna break. Hopefully moves out to move out of there. Yep, all right. That's good to see. And while this is all going on, purple has not been hit at all. I have a set, so I'm going to get the extra troops. This turn, that's going to help me look a little bit better of a position than everyone else. I have the largest stack on the board. Looking pretty good. Mm. Nice. We're gonna kind of like do this. And we're gonna move our three here. Cause we didn't open up his 53 to my eight or to my African positions. Hits the one. Well, I guess orange does it anyway and just suicides. All right, great. Okay, so that's the game for them. Purple is also unlocked to... Purple is also unlocked to that. White probably just smashes orange, if I'm guessing. No? No way you end it there. Are you kidding? He's going to smash you. What? He just leaves his stack right there. He's going to get suicided. What the heck? I 
think purple should hit the three. Oh, blocks a stack. That's even better. Okay. Leave that stack there. But the bad thing about this is purple's open to that. You can kill white and orange. Oh, and orange is, and white's gonna get an extra card. So that's seven cards just handed to purple. Unless red gets it because he set in just now. Gonna kill purple first or orange first? I think he should kill white first here. I don't think he's gonna get the per the orange kill. Yep, there's the white kill. So white dies fifth. Gonna move that seven on his three? Ah, oh, it's the E4. We should give red an alliance. Oh, we did. Didn't work out. Got an alliance with the other two, though. But orange is definitely going to die with four cards. No doubt. Keep in mind, red stack is blocked, so we could see some attack from or aggress- Oh my god. He lost nothing. Holy crap. Purple's dice are on point. He says, he says well played. We just see an attack from purple. Hmm. 150 troops, 83 stack. What does he do? Axe Northern Europe stays there. Ends his turn. Fortifies back. Okay. Well. Can't let him hold this. Red has access to leave Australia, which in their position, I definitely would go take Europe. Purple has a lot of territory, but we can't really do much about it. We have to let red see what they do. Thank God red doesn't just break me because they can. Players like that annoy me as, annoy me a lot. He just leaves all of his stacks closed. Attack red. What I say. Oops. 
moves his stack out. Congo, Middle East. Play Middle East here. Don't want to really do much because I haven't really done anything to red or purple. So there's nothing much I can really do. Unless one of them takes a bonus, then then it becomes an issue. He breaks me. Give him a good luck. Purple probably takes Europe now. Look at that. After saying good luck, he accepts my alliance. Wow. I think he thought I was too passive there. Take that. Watch him set in. He probably does. It's the nine and breaks both my bonuses. Opens the eighty nine. Keeps attacking. Just completely opens it. Cool. Alright. We don't want purple to take Europe, as that would be too much. They're already too strong. Purple does nothing. Splitting off now, 81, holy crap. Okay. He trusts me, but leaves head very open. And attack that. We don't want to attack red. If red gets lucky, he could probably, if he has a, like a, you know, pin set. Yep, he's going to go through the purple nine. So I won't, I will get broken, but I don't know if, no, okay, never mind. He could have broken purple there. So I'm surprised he did it like that. Okay. Confusing me a little bit. He could have hit the nine and broke me. Potentially breaking purple as well. Potentially. This is really odd. How this is going down. Red's so passive to holding his... Or so strong to holding his Australia.
We're gonna make this kind of large. Don't want red to come through. Make it big enough to where he can't just go through it. 13, so 26, 23, so 25 actually would be the max you could probably hit with. Do we have a set we do with North Africa or Egypt? Such a weird spot to be right now, but I think purple trusts me. Attack with your 10, come on. Oh, Andy sets in. Gonna split? What is going on, man? What in the world? That kind of feels threatening to me. Red can break him. What? I don't necessarily have the biggest stack on the board now, but I'm so confused as to what purple is trying to do. Red doesn't even break purple when he gets the chance. Oh my gosh. I'm getting a little bit confused. Egypt, North Africa. I'm starting to catch up to purple really fast. I'm holding a lot of territory. He leaves his 10 in Iceland though. I think that's just so I don't get ice the Europe bonus, which I understand. But we'll see if he does fortify it or not. I'm a little bit surprised about how this game's going so far. Purple always has access to me. Puts it all on cap. Is this the is this the point where he gets card blocked? Hmm. Guess we're just taking cards and passing. All right.
I could open up China from the other side, that would be huge. But is but there's no other way to do it. Unless purple blue back to Camp Kacha and I got through, but you're all in Afghanistan stayed red. It's the only way. I have a set. Always use it because you never know what people will think if they can take you with five cards. Keeps going. How does purple react to this one? Okay. Stay there. Put our whole stack there. Red's gonna set in. Most likely, nope. They won't attack purple though. Put it all on their stack. Purple's still ahead of me, but I'm, I think I'm slowly catching up. Hmm. We're past an hour on this game now, approximately an hour and five minutes. trades in all on the stack takes a card this is oh boy me and purple continue to get very strong while red only gets five turn Red's going to continue to get super weak compared to me in purple. It's like a huge difference. The extra troops per turn is going to dwindle them down.
red probably i am the only alliance with red i don't think purple and the red are an alliance so maybe i could use that to my advantage but with purple being as big as they are and their stack being open to me oh Okay. Let Red go where he wants. If Red were to suicide right there, I'd probably give them second. Or the act that it gave me the win. He's definitely going to break both. And purple. Yep. To go back. Oh my god. Why would I be surprised? <laughs> he didn't want to attack me when I gone through Iceland, but he doesn't like to hit anything bigger than a 1. And we're gonna see red attack again. No. You're not attacking purple. What is that? Okay, now I'm feeling threatened so that I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get suicided if I don't hit purple. Purple is stronger than me. You have a big set. But purple under fifteen. Put him under 15, bro. 
He loses a chirp next turn. Doesn't that show you that I want to work with you? Why don't you go hit purple? If I attack purple, he'll probably suicide me since I've been friends with him the whole game. Closes off for me. Well, he's not technically closed off yet. I am closed off from breaking purple. Leave that there. Oh my gosh, dude. It's open, bro. You can go attack purple. He's not doing it. What does he expect? Keep going. All right, purple lost their bonus. Red also opened the 11, so purple really doesn't have to do much. Oh, well, the game's over, but I wanted Red to get second. Good game. I didn't want to do anything. I needed to take this very slowly, and I'm glad I did. So, good game. We're going to just take all this and, and everything else. Oh wow, that was nice. We'll all get the good dice. Oh, look at that, you got a set in. Well, we had five cards, that makes sense. He's probably on, oh, that was terrible. Oh my gosh. You see that roll? Freaking only lost. Seven, that's insane. And I had a set, absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, my dice dude for this game, absolutely insane. Give him a heart, end the game. We get first place.
absolutely amazing. Need to be very careful. I don't usually play alliances and I probably won't do that again. Alliances are very scary with the fact that people can talk to each other. I don't like that. Master, intermediate, intermediate, intermediate expert, but we are technically a master. Honestly, I should be grandmaster in this because um, I was at like 25,100, but then the reset knocked us back down to uh, 15 or 16,000. So we should probably move up to 17.5 if I had to guess here. Nope, 17.1. We move up quite a bit. Um, this is classic fixed on JJ Burr's all account. Uh, coming to you with some videos. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments, of course. And uh, yeah, I'll be posting these not as often as my other videos, but they come in here and there. So if you'd like to see more of this, please let me know in the comments. Um, yeah. So see you guys later. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Uh, subscribe. You should, you should definitely subscribe if you like this. So anyways, peace.